Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Crypto Keith. This is Crypto Living. And if you like cryptocurrencies, the blockchain, and Bitcoin, then hit that bell down below me and be a part of the Crypto Living Notification Squad. Let's go ahead now and watch the video. Hey guys, what is up? Crypto Keith here. So today's coin market cap, we see that the Bitcoin dominance has dropped in the past week, mostly due to that uh, SegWit fork uh, being scrapped and people moving their money out of Bitcoin. And we see that most people are moving their money into things like Bitcoin Cash. Um, we see Dash um, is at an all-time high but our market cap for bitcoin we should keep an eye on and this market cap for bitcoin cash so we have 110 billion for bitcoin and 21 billion for bitcoin cash we see um, neo monero down here and then dash has an awesome market cap right now as well as litecoin and it Ripple does, despite it staying at this uh, 0.2 uh, range. And uh, Amici Go is due for a nice spike here, coming up soon. There's lots of uh, cool ICOs going on, and I'll have to bring um, some more ICO videos out, because I am ready to invest in some myself as well. Today we're going to do a, a review of uh, Emphi. I got a message uh, to check this um, token out. It was just recently um, just recently had its ICO, and uh, we can see it's up 41% today. Looking down here at the charts, we had this huge volume right after the ICO. And it's dying off a bit and then uh, we see that it might pick up here again so i definitely think that um this coin is going to go up with the research i've done we have their social media here and if you go down to the bottom here you can see that they released their website it uh, is translated into spanish and korean languages they um, were having their ico and adjusting their hard and soft caps um, and so what is Emphi really? Emphi is moving lodging to the blockchain so they're offering lower commissions systems of ratings and bonuses safety identity verification and uh, lots more there's tons of benefits for moving this industry to the blockchain. So they had their ICO just recently, uh, at the beginning of November, and they got listed on CoinMarketCap on November 11th. They're having lots of buy orders. They're only, it seems, on Ether Delta at the moment. And uh, they had a bounty campaign for people promoting uh, their ICO. They give out free tokens to people that help promote the ICO. They have contacted two stock exchanges to list their tokens, Qcoin or Binance. They do seem like they're uh, very amateur in the blockchain uh, space, but that's fine. They do have a good business model, and I do think that they're going to do well. And this is what we want to see. We want to see people from elsewhere moving uh, and choosing blockchain because of its benefits. And that's what I think we're seeing here with Emphy. It does seem like it's a younger generation that is uh, running this project. It's definitely catering to younger generations. Uh, yes, just Ether Delta. But you can follow uh, their social media. It'll probably uh, benefit you. 
they're still giving some uh, data here to coin market cap, but also Bitcoin uh, Cash has these question marks there as well. And so here's their website. So their website here is beautiful. Decentralized blockchain lodging ecosystem. So they funded 156% of their soft cap. They had 395 contributors and 14 169 ETH. I personally would have invested in this ICO if I had known of it earlier. You don't have to be rich to travel well. And uh, I was just looking over their white paper a little bit. They have a nice white paper. So it says here, short-term lodging industry is prosperous right now. And at the moment, it's valued at 100 billion with growth forecasts of 168 billion by 2019. There are no signs of growth slowing down on the short-term lodging market, and in the coming years, it can seriously take on the traditional businesses such as hotels, motels, and even hostels. And I do agree. Um, this is a, an amazing uh, opportunity for them because there is a demand in the market for this, and they seem to be doing more of uh, vacations and traveling lodging but they could even move this to the the tenancy system where we have people renting rooms apartments and landlords or owners of the, the real estate or the buildings have to hire somebody to collect rent well they could use technology that's out there and incorporate a system that people can automatically pay on the blockchain and it will know exactly who hasn't paid and it can be incorporated in there and um, it would have to have to kind of change the whole way um, laws work around uh, tenancy because we have the opportunity now to not have to go through these uh, legal processes to get somebody out of our um, out of our or an apartment if we're renting to them and they aren't paying. We can see right away on the blockchain that they have not paid and there can be an automatic smart contract that starts the process of getting them out as soon as they don't pay rent. Also, we wouldn't need that person uh, to get all these referrals from them because we could have a system that would show ratings and show how people did with their last um, apartment they rented and it would make things a lot easier when you're trying to get an apartment as well and you wouldn't have to have someone knocking on your door every month for rent you could automatically pay in these tokens but this um, MFI model seems to be more on the lodging so MFI is a decentralized ecosystem where landlords and tenants meet to conclude short-term rental real estate contracts blockchain compiled with smart contracts will eliminate the dependence on centralized system being the participants of the transaction and will significantly re reduce the commission and help fixing the terms of the agreement, booking and general conditions between the owner and property and the guest. Amphi provides innovative approaches, openness, convenience and ease of use. The platform will raise the technology and the process of short-term renting to a new level of development. So it's talking about how they could have uh, potentially some good markets in places like Europe because most people have a cell phone in their pocket there and uh, it's a lot easier last time I traveled I used uh, hotels.com and it's a lot easier to just use a system like this uh, Enfi seems to have plans to incorporate artificial intelligence too and they could find you lodging in your area very quick for very cheap within seconds you could have a match and this is something that I would use for sure. So their vision, Enfi ecosystem most closely matches the expectations of young people of Generation Y. More adventurous, exciting experiences, fewer normalities and pre-known routes. In the modern world, most travelers choose the idea of hand luggage, a fully flexible flexibility of movement without burdening themselves with limitations. Having a smartphone and access to the internet, the traveler and the real estate owner will always be able to negotiate and conclude a smart rental contract and also make a payment transaction among themselves. 
It was convenient, simple, and reliable both for, for both parties. The use of a cryptocurrency in the transactions along with traditional methods of payment significantly expands the possibilities for both sides. So they're targeting Generation Y. And they're talking about some market issues, uh, the technologies that are available, uh, the NV feature, so low commissions, incentive, uh, the incentive system of ratings and bonuses. So uh, good tenants will be rewarded, good lodgers. Um, so you can read more about that if you like. So back to their website here, we have um, this section here for technology and uh, saying here smart contracts, AI, decentralized, mobile, peer-to-peer, -peer, and marketplace. They're all going to incorporate. They have their roadmap here. So March 17th, their idea was born. June 17th, they did their white paper. October 17th, their token sale. June 18th, their beta release. August 18th, public launch. November 18th, expansion. So it seems like they had um, a token sale in October of 2017, the end of October, basically the beginning of November. Now we're moving into 2018 here. They're going to release in June their, um, their platform. So it would have been an amazing ICO to get into. There probably still is uh, value in holding the token. So if you can get some cheap tokens, um, I'll definitely be looking for some cheap tokens. So they have their token distribution here that they've already given out. Here's their team. So their smart contracts powered by AmbiSafe. Their team here, CEO and co-founder, senior developer, senior developer, business, business developer, co-founder, front-end developer, back-end developer. So it seems like a pretty simple and straightforward project at this point. Uh, they've done they've done everything they need to do, and um, it's the first I've seen this model being applied to the blockchain. So um, you definitely want to get into those first businesses, companies, because the one it's going to get uh, saturated the market, and eventually there can be so many companies trying to do the same thing that many will fail, many won't uh, have that success, but the first companies to do it always have an advantage. So that's Enfi. Looks like a pretty cool project, to be honest. I'll be following their social media and probably trying to buy up some tokens once they come onto my exchange. It's, it's hard when when uh, tokens are put on random different exchanges, you almost need a new account with a when and sign up for a new exchanges just to get some tokens that you want, which um, I'll have to be doing with Hit BTC. I am uh, opening up an account because there are some tokens that are exclusively on there that I would like to buy. So maybe the next uh, account I gets with Ether Delta, who knows? But it's definitely a good price. These tokens could go up into the twenty dollars by uh, the beginning of next year. They could be uh, a fifty dollar token once this platform launches, or uh, maybe worth even more. So here's their their Twitter again. They're attending the blockchain summit. Um, which is good. Anytime you see a token, make sure they're attending stuff, they're active in the community, because that's a good way to tell if they're actually trying to succeed and doing all they can to ensure their success. So I guess we're waiting for Binance here to accept uh, their listing. Moving on, though. So Enfi is currently not in... 
the top 100 for market cap it doesn't have that much people using it right now which probably tells you it's a good time to get into it not too many people know about it so that's Enfi. the next token that i want to do a review of is populous so what is populous populous is a token that is going to be used on the populous platform which is going to be for it's going to be for invoices and currently the way invoices are done is the banks make most of their income off of invoices so a company's paid uh, given an invoice and they don't really get paid for another couple months they bring that invoice to the bank and the bank will give them about 90%, 95% of what the invoice is written for up front and keep the invoice, keep the rest of the, the money for themselves. But banks are holding everybody else's money and they're profiting this way off everybody else's money, but you're not profiting. So the banks are stealing everybody's profits to themselves. And this is why we can create new models that help um, the world and everybody be prosperous, not just a couple bankers. And this is what Populous does. So with uh, new technology that's coming out and smart contracts, you can um, basically go to this platform. They integrate fiat currency as well as cryptocurrency, and people can bring their invoices to that platform, and you can loan them the money. Basically, you're being a loan shark lending the money and uh, you get more back for doing it but your money is always kept in escrow and uh, there's always protections on your money so that's what I've understood about it so far they have their social media here they're getting ready to do a huge marketing uh, initiative because up to this point they haven't really done any marketing they did their ICO and uh, they're currently on Oh, well, this is one of the tokens that I need to get on HitBTC for because uh, they're not on every exchange. They're on Ether Delta, Ether Delta and HitBTC. So, and it's, it's worth, or the volume on Ether Delta is a lot more and um, making it cheaper on Ether Delta. So, I went to their websites. It's a new website that's done very well. So they built this website so that they could succeed better um, and attract regular people to the platform. So the platform gives you the idea that your money's safe and that uh, you're secure when you're doing these, uh, these transactions on the blockchain. So basically, they're making sure that um, this platform is 100% secure and safe before they let anyone put any real money or real invoices onto it. So they have the platform right now you can log into. Um, they have information here for your invoice sellers, for invoice buyers. So you can literally, if you have Populous coins go on here and lend your populous coins out for people's uh, invoices So there's a uh, investor chooses to uh, which invoice to finance So that's all you have to do is choose and confirm uh, To finance an invoice the rest is done on its own. The rest is passive income borrows offer invoice with terms so you can create your own terms you can choose which people you want to fund and which you, people you don't. But I'm sure the platform controls and takes all the risk out of it. Um, and there's no risk once you uh, lend your money to these people. And that's the good thing about smart contracts and the blockchain is you can't really run away from it. It's always there. They can incorporate different methods. And this is where the, the genius comes in. And there's lots of... Uh, new methods that can be implemented to ensure people um, don't have a way to leave uh, 
and take their borrowed money and not put it back into the platform. They're going to find ways to ensure people do this. Um, and that's where the exciting stuff will happen. Blockchain is the first step, but there are lots of other technologies that will, um, will come out to help do that. So Populous is all about invoice finance. Populous has built an agile, robust service which will disrupt and transform the current invoicing financial system. By combining our proprietary smart contracts with blockchain technology and providing these tools to everyone, Populous is introducing the invoice buyer directly to the invoice seller in a peer-to-peer -peer platform. This will transform the current invoice finance industry into a more sustainable, efficient, and profitable ecosystem, which is globally accessible both by invoice buyer and seller. So you don't have to be special and one of these bankers to profit off of this very profitable system. And the way that they can do this uh, and basically steal it from the bankers, this uh, model, is they are doing it way more efficiently and way cheaper being done on the blockchain with smart contracts and maybe using artificial intelligence eventually. The banks are in the past. They're not moving into the future. So people have the opportunity to create the future the way they want it and the way it should be. And thanks for uh, companies like Populous for doing that. So their coin is worth $8.95 right now. Um, it was $8 yesterday. So you guys can uh, definitely buy some Populous and be confident about that as well. Although don't take my, uh, my advice as financial advice. I have to say that, I'm sorry. But uh, the last thing I want is to be trying to help people out and then get punished for it and be the bad guy, which is what happens when, uh, when you don't protect yourself. So that's why you'll hear me the odd time confirming that I'm not a financial advisor. So, yeah, Populist has, um, if we look at the market here, uh, sorry, chart charts here, Populist has a decent amount of volume coming. And now that they're doing their marketing, I could definitely see it hitting uh, double $20 in the next uh, next month or so. It's already doubled and it's going to double again. So Populous is definitely easily, easily worth $50 a coin. So it's one of the good investments going into 2018, especially because you can then use this money. It's kind of like a lending platform, but it's done properly. And it's done legitly and uh, legally and securely. Um, this is kind of like a lending coin where you can buy the coin at ICO or on exchanges and then use that coin to further profit. And uh, these are really the coins you want to get into that are profiting for you even when the price isn't going up. That are, are helping you bring in a profit. Going back to the coin market cap, we see uh, Power Ledger's up there again today. So uh, I bought some, did I buy some Power Ledger? Um, but uh, I'm not sure, we did a review on Power Ledger. I think it's only on a couple exchanges right now, so uh, I either need to get on some more exchanges or wait, and waiting does not work with cryptocurrency. So I want to check out these two tokens real quick. They're both winners today. Let's just see what they do. We won't do very long reviews on these. Too much stuff on their social media. I'll have to go directly to their website to get an idea of what it is. I saw they had lots of stickers there for Telegram. It says uh, wings.ai, so maybe it has to do with AI. 
Wings DAO price discovery and promotion pre beta. So I think right now they're just trying to discover the price. They are on uh, coin market cap and they do have uh, an okay volume. Actually, that's a 24 hour volume and that's the market cap. Circulating supply here, we have 100 million wings. And uh, their website's not showing up very much right now, so maybe we'll look into this another day when it pops up into the greens again. And then let's check out Raiden Network really quick. So they just had their ICO. They just had their launch. And uh, let's just see here on their website what it tells us. So they also have 100 million Raiden coins. Uh, they've given out half of that. And they have a bit more volume than our friend Wings over here. It's not wanting to load. But Wings is also a bit lower of a price than Raiden Network. Fast, cheap, scalable tra token transfers on Ether. The Raiden Network is an off-chain scaling solution enabling near-instant, low-fee, scalable payments. It's complementary to the Ethereum blockchain and works with an ERC-20 compatible token. The Raiden project is a work in project progress. Its goal is to research state channel technology, define protocols, and develop reference implementations. Whatever that means. Payments are one of the obvious killer applications of blockchains. But unfortunately, blockchain's current transaction capacity is very limited and therefore unable to support significant adoption. Full blocks, high fees, and long confirmation times are the known effects of this limitation. The problem is scalability. Currently, the Ethereum network is only able to confirm roughly 10 transactions per second. Before blockchains will see widespread adoption for everyday payments, they will need to be able to process roughly 100,000 transactions per second. Adoption also requires that the cost of transfers is neglectable and the confirmation time is within a sub-second rather than in a range of minutes. The Raiden network aims to solve these problems. It uses a mix of mesh payment channels, deposits and cryptographic tricks to allow for secure token transfers off-chain. Instead of using the blockchain as a global notary for all transfers, the blockchain is only used as a system to eventually settle netted claims which resulted from off-chain transfer activity. This approach allows the Raiden network to scale with the number of users and their transfers. The more users participate, the more transfers can happen concurrently. Further, transfers are extremely cheap, fast and private. The Raiden network will complement Ethereum such that it can become a global scale payment infrastructure for everyday purchases by all of us, as well as for the upcoming machine to machine economy. The original idea of blockchains is to provide a purely peer to peer version of electronic cash. Our mission is to provide the technology which allows this vision to scale towards widespread adoption. If you want to learn more about the Raiden network, watch our next video or check out our website. Yeah, so to me it seems like they are doing transactions off-chain, so off of the blockchain um, for big transactions and stuff like that. So special cases, um, let's see here. The obvious use case for Raiden Network is payments. Currently, the global payments industry generates retail payments. There are quite a few high-profile Ethereum token-based projects competing to bring blockchain-based payments to the masses. Especially in developing countries, these efforts may potentially improve the life of millions. The rating network can be a crucial building block as significant adoption relies on scalable technology and competitive fees. Peer-to-peer -peer cash, micropayments. So yeah, it seems like it might be uh, kind of like what you do on exchanges where you're transferring Bitcoin from one person to another, but you're not necessarily paying those transfer fees because you're not uh, transferring you're not using the blockchain for that transaction I guess I don't know
Um, something to watch for in the future and keep your eye on. I just want to give a shout out to uh, Bitcoin Money here for telling me about EPY, uh, NFI, and sharing that knowledge with us so that we could review it and bring that information to you guys. That's all for today. We'll see you next time. Peace. Set me free, set me free